Hello everybody, this is Sam from 5 Note Gaming and we're starting a playthrough of Frostpunk today. Um, I'm super excited. I've been wanting to play this game for a while now. I actually picked it up when it came out all those years ago and I remember I really, really, really enjoyed the game. Um, but I also found it to be one of the most stressful and unforgiving games I've ever played. Uh, this is the kind of game that makes you like need to take a break like you need to just walk away from the computer and, and clear your head because of how stressful this game would be. I remember enjoying the hell out of it so um, like I said I've been really having a hankering to play this game again so here we are. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put the Horizon Zero Dawn series to rest. Um, it just wasn't getting the very much viewership um, from you guys so I'd rather play games that you guys are more interested in watching so hopefully Frostpunk will be it. Um, I know I'm definitely going to be uh, enjoying this playthrough. Um, so let's go ahead, let's jump into it. Let's see how much we can remember. It's probably not going to be much. We roam the still, cold world. No horizon in sight. The rulers of old. Stripped of pride and glory. It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost stopped it all. Suddenly, without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us, no matter wealth or class. We've lost our world to snow. And with it, our last traces of humanity. We bid farewell to plenty. And for those who remained, came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope that pushed us forward. Slowly, step by step, we knew the cost of our journey, and we paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. Wow. That was so cool. I am so pumped up to play this game now. A new home. We have fled from London and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. On our way, our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to reach the site of this generator, only to find it frozen solid and abandoned. Why is no one here? Did any of our people survive the blizzard? Are there any others out there? Whatever we do, we should expect the worst now that the world has become that. We should expect the worst now that the world as we know it has crumbled. We have to survive. All right, guys, let's jump in. Let's do this. Here it is. Old familiar crater, the generator at the middle of it. Our lifeblood right here. Fight the cold. We need to get the generator working. It provides heat and power to your other buildings. Without it, we'll freeze to death. Stockpile some coal and start the generator. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause it while I familiar myself, familiarize myself with the uh, interface. Okay, so we've got coal, wood, steel, steam cores. I don't remember what these are. We've got raw food and food rations. So we're probably gonna have to cook raw food into food rations. That's interesting. Okay, um, of course, temperatures right here time playback speed um all right and let's see we've got our crater here we can move the camera around 
Okay, we can rotate the camera as well. Let's see what we have in our crater. We've got coal. Okay, so these little black things are coal. This must be steel. Yep, is this wood? Okay. Steel, wood, steel, wood. And then... Okay. Seems like we know what we need to do to start. Um, we need to stockpile some wood and steel. Wood for building... Uh, sorry, wood and coal. Wood for building and coal for burning. Um, so let's go ahead and let's see if we can't build a gathering post near some wood and coal. This is all just coal. Coal, coal, more coal. That's steel. Alright. We'll go ahead and build a gathering post right here. This will gather um, wood, wood, and steel. Um, and then we also just want to send people out to the coal sites um, individually. Or maybe we build another gathering post right here next to the coal. Um, and then I think we have to connect them with roads. I don't remember how to do that. Build street? We don't have enough wood. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and unpause it and see what happens. It says 10 out of 10. It's under construction, so we must have 10 constructors assigned to this job. Okay. All right, we have 80 homeless people, so we need to start gathering as soon as possible. But we should have all our bases covered between the coal here and the wood and steel here. So if I remember correctly, the generator kind of gets less effective the farther away. So the buildings that have less insulation want to be hugged close to this generator. Of course, um, eventually we're going to have to expand out. So I don't know, maybe we'll be able to like upgrade the generator. I seem to remember there being like little heat pockets that you could like build around the map as well. So we'll see how this works. All right, so slowly but surely, our people are trudging out there. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on to two times speed because one times speed seems really slow. Um, one times speed is for when you're thinking but you don't wanna necessarily pause. So now that our two stockpiles or uh, gathering posts are being built, we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and assign 10 workers here. Now, we could assign engineers. Hmm. Maybe they do different types of work or something? I'm not sure. But we're gonna go ahead and assign 10 workers, but it's not assigned to, it's not connected with a street. So we need to start collecting some wood uh, straight away. So I'm gonna go ahead and assign 15 workers right here to collect some wood so we can build these streets. Uh, we don't want to put, uh, we don't want to put anything to waste, so let's go ahead and start collecting um, some coal as well. Perfect. Of course, we'll build these streets as soon as possible, but until we have the wood that we need to build it, build street. All right, we'll go ahead and build this street right here. Uh, we don't have enough wood for that. Okay, this is beginning to make sense. So we're gonna wanna go ahead and assign 10 workers to this gathering post right here. Um, we should be able to afford to build a street now. Work day ends. It's the workday ends already. Alright. It is... Uh, what's that? Six, six o'clock. What's this? No roofs over our heads. Captain, people are understandably concerned about the lack of shelter. 
They're falling ill from sleeping out in this terrible cold. We better do something about it. All right, I will provide shelter. We have two days to provide shelter for 40 people, or I'll provide shelter for everyone. We have two days to provide shelter for 80 people. Okay, this is non-negotiable. We need to shelter everyone. So we're gonna go ahead and commit. I, I, I remember this. This game gives you like choices and basically whatever choice you make, you have to commit to and people will be disappointed if you don't hold to your promises. So sometimes it's worth causing a little bit of disappointment by not promising too much because you know you can't deliver. But we'll, we'll, we'll deliver on this one. I'll provide shelter for everyone. So it's gonna be all about um, it's gonna be all about building things tomorrow. Um, looks like we have 15 engineers and 15 workers available. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it um, just so we can build things that we need to. Um, what is this building that exists right here? This is just stockpiles. Okay. Um, we're gonna wanna relocate this. I don't think we need our stockpiles to be in the heat. We're gonna eventually wanna relocate it. But for now, let's go ahead and let's build some tents. How much housing does a tent provide? We don't have enough wood for any more tents. Okay. Um, so we should have 10 here, 10 here. We should have, let's just, you know, make sure all of our citizens are working anyways. The heating is off. The generator's off. People are afraid they'll freeze to death in their sleep if you don't at least turn it on for the night. All right, we'll go ahead and turn on generator. We've got 67 coal. It's about 11 hours of coal. The wisdom of the crowd. Captain, when facing demands, remember this. People usually look for the quickest solution, not the best one. You don't have to agree to everything they ask for. If you fix the problem your own way, it's fine. All right. That's good. So that's some good advice. All right, so our generator's online. Is there any way to? Yes. Okay. It's all coming back. We can check the temperature overlay here, so we can see how warm um, the people are. They're glowing warm. That means they're nice and warm. We can see how warm the buildings are. Livable. Livable. Okay. Great. So we have decent, decent, livable working conditions for most of our. Um, most of our work is here. We're going to try to stockpile as much as we can in these early days. Um, in fact, since we have 15 engineers we're not doing anything with, we should start collecting um, some steel from this site as well. Uh, I don't think steel is as important as, um, um, as other resources like coal. I'm just thinking, let's, let's start collecting the steel that's far away. We'll, we'll keep the stuff that's closer for when it gets colder. Because, of course, um, when it's colder out, we don't want our people traversing so far into the cold snow. I have three sick people. Four sick people. Where are all these sick people coming from? That's not good. We're keeping them very warm. Look, they're all close to the generator. They shouldn't be getting sick. So I'm not sure what the thing is. Is it bad to have sick people if you're not treating them right away? I don't know. A word of advice, workers needed. There's much to do and not enough hands to do it. A quick way of addressing this problem is to put children to work. Uh, I don't know about that. Should we put the children to work? That seems like a bad idea. Book of Laws. We'll open the Book of Laws, but I don't think we want to put children to work. Let's try to let's try to hold off making as many bad decisions as we can. Um, so let's see what our options are. Um, on the child labor issue, we can choose safe jobs for them or child shelters. Um, if we build a child shelter, um, hope will rise. Preventing all children, uh, providing all children with a place in the child shelter gives you a permanent hope bonus. You will have to build a child shelter. Okay, we'll adopt this policy in a little bit. We can't afford to build a child shelter just yet. Um, as far as corpse disposal goes, do we want to build a cemetery or do we just want to build a snow pit? 
Hope will fall, discontent will rise. Um, we'll wait till people die for that one. And then let's see treatment. We could do radical treatment or sustained life. Uh, radical uh, sustained life. The gravely ill will be treated in medical posts. Hope will rise slightly. 30% of the gravely ill treated in medical posts. Medical posts will be left as amputees. Discontent will rise slightly. Sure. Uh, I don't know which one of these are actually going to be good. But maybe we go for emergency shift and extended shift. Um, emergency shift will have them work for 24 hours when we need them to. Alright. Well... Work, work, and work. How do I impose a, an emergency shift? One controversial law. Oh, is that like assigned at each? Yeah, okay. At each individual workplace, you can assign an emergency shift. Now, we're running out of coal. So I'm going to go ahead, what time is it? It's uh, almost 7 a.m. So our people should be getting back to work because we need to be collecting coal. Okay, we're out of coal, that's not good. But our people are already walking back to their gathering posts, so we should have coal again. Alright, perfect. Now, we need to build houses for everybody. But most importantly, we need to build a medical post. Why can't I afford this? Base cost 25 wood. All right, so priority is gonna be medical posts. We wanna keep these medical posts very warm so they'll be effective. So let's go ahead and build one there. Um, and then we're gonna to wanna to build tents when we get enough wood. Who are these people? Health, low risk of falling ill, home, status. This person doesn't have any shelter for the time being. Activity, playing. Why are people playing? Food, the generator hums with reassuring warmth, but we shouldn't take it for granted. If the generator goes down, the city diet. Be mindful of coal reserves. Now, food, there will uh, there'll be no city if the city starves to death. Secure a way to provide raw food and build a cookhouse to prepare, to prepare meals. All right. Um, food. We're going to want a hunter's hut and a cookhouse. Okay. Um, I'm guessing the hunter's hut doesn't need to be close to the city. So why don't we build the hunter's hut like out here or something for the time being? far away from the city. Okay, uh, and then we need a cookhouse. The heating is off. Alright, let's turn the generator back on. Now, I have zero available um, engineers and workers Let's stop collecting from this coal stockpile here. Actually, I'd rather have the coal and not the steel. So let's start collecting from this work pile again. But I want workers to be starting to construct this. Um, we're going to need to build a cookhouse as well. Um, I think we'll go ahead and build a cookhouse on tier 2. I want tier 1 to be all homes because I think those are the most important thing to... to um, Homes in at least like a medical tent. But yeah, homes are important to heat. We don't want our people falling ill. So now that we have a medical post, we're going to want to assign five engineers to this medical post. We can assign the other ten engineers here. Though I don't know how many engineers it's going to take to man the cookhouse and the hunt hunter's lodge. Okay, we The hunter's lodge wants 15 people. Um, okay. And it only wants workers. Interesting. Okay, so let's go ahead and re reassign these 15 workers from the coal place to the hunter's lodge.
medical post. Can we check the patients? People from our convoy, with basic resources secured for now, we can try to rescue people we left behind, build a beacon, scout, scout Frostland, and save as many survivors from our expedition as possible. You'll need a workshop to design plans for more advanced buildings. Okay, so we'll need a workshop, whatever that is. All right, perfect. Now we can assign five engineers to work the cookhouse. We have 15 engineers working the hunter's hut, so we should have food on board for tomorrow. I hope our citizens are not gonna starve to death with zero food rations. Can they eat the raw food? I hope so. Extended shift. Building a city in this frozen hell requires sacrifice. People will get more done if they work longer shifts. After introducing an this law, another one can be passed. New shift length. You can extend the workday in any facility to 14 hours. It will cause discontent. Um, and overall discontent will rise slightly. I think this is an important one to have. Hear me, hear me. So New now, for example, um, let's say we are short on resources. Instead of just doing an emergency shift for 24 hours, we can just give it a uh, priority with an extended shift. Who are these people? Who are these people? Where are they going? Working the gathering post? No, because they're not going to gather things. I'm not sure. They just disappeared. Are these maybe our hunters? They might be our hunters. So, looks like we're close to the temperature dropping significantly. That's not going to be fun. So once we house everybody, we still got four more houses to build. We better do it as quickly as possible. The person doesn't have any shelter for the night and can be forced to sleep on the ground. Okay, maybe this is why people are falling sick, because they don't have houses. Oops. Hunter's Hut is comfortable. All of our tents are comfortable. Our stockpiles are livable. Our medical post is comfortable. Gathering post livable. Okay, we're doing fine on temperature for now. Alright, it's 7 a.m. Time to get back to work, boys. So, priority one is building houses, then I think we could build that engineering thing to start exploring. That's what they said. Okay, we've got some more wood, so we can continue building houses. Perfect. We need two more after this. And I think we have like five spare engineers around to, to build stuff. That's fine. All right. There we go. We got a row full of houses. Houses for everybody. Wood crates depleted. Oh, these wood crates. So that means we have an influx of new workers that we can assign to something else. Um... Maybe we build a gathering post. Yeah, let's build another gathering post. We'll go ahead and connect it up with some roads. We don't have the wood for it. We'll go ahead and wait until we collect a little bit more wood. What is this? Could not resume production requires raw food. Oh, we're out of food, so we're not producing anything else. We have 12 starving people. Well, look at all these food rations we have. Don't know what's that, what that's about. All right, we're gonna go ahead and build some 
a road out here. Good. Um, so we have some extra jobs we can put there. Shelter promise broken. The promised shelter is nowhere in sight. People are bitterly disappointed. Oh my gosh, I didn't know there was a time limit. <sighs> hope falls and discontent rises. Oh, that is a huge chunk of hope. Oh boy. Well, food additives. Sawdust meal available in cookhouse. Hope will fall slightly, discontent will rise slightly. Some people eating sawdust meals will fall ill. Eating soup will cause discontent. So either we will we'll take extra discontent, we'll take more illness. I think we'll take soup. And I think we should start serving soup in the cookhouse. Yeah, we're gonna go make soup. It'll cost uh, less raw food. So we'll be able to feed more people with soup. Are you kidding me? We lost the promise to house all 80 people even though we just built all eight houses today. We might have been like 30 seconds off from it. Wow. So we've still got eight starving people and I don't know where this number is coming from given that we have food rations. It's going down, so maybe those people are just not eating for some reason. Um, okay. So in the morning, we will go ahead and look to food. We built these two. Health. We built a medical post. People. We built tents. Workshop. Okay. Workshop is tech. So maybe that's like a technology tree or something. Can assign 10 workers here. They'll start in the morning gathering more wood and steel for us. But yeah, we want to start researching technology as soon as possible because these on the ground resource deposits are going to dry up quickly and once they do we better have other means of acquiring these resources okay i'm going to go ahead and turn on fast mode as we wait for the work day to begin okay and now it has reached minus 40. so that means all of our Workplaces are now cold and chilly. That's not good. That's really not good. Um, workshop is going to cost us 15 wood and 5 steel. We have plenty of steel. It's the wood. Wood that's killing us. Okay, we've got everything we need to build a workshop. So let's build it and let's get started on this um, as soon as possible. We're out of wood. Yes, we know. Yes, we know. Um, the cookhouse is inoperative. It's too cold to operate. Um, so we need to research warmer options from the generator. Okay, good to know. We better get this uh, cookhouse up and running then. Um, I think we can probably build roads going all around here make this city more traversable. I don't know if roads do anything. Except for let you build them, build along them. All right. Let's get this um get this workshop built quickly. We're gonna run out of food if we can't get some new heat options. So we can assign five engineers here. Two sick absences. Technology tree. Okay, so we can research heaters or steam hubs. I think heaters allows us to use heaters to heat workplaces during work hours. Each heater raises a workplace's temperature by one level and consumes one coal per hour while running. Uh, when powered by a generator, these contraptions create additional smaller heat zones around them. When active, each unmodified steam hub consumes three coal per hour. So this is like an area of warmth, and this is like an individual building. I think heaters are going to be more useful for us right now, and later on we're going to want the steam hubs. Alright, so let's start researching this.
Oh, this is gonna go quickly. So our first building to heat is gonna be this one. And maybe our medical tents as well. Can't have our um can't have our doctors getting sick. Book of Laws. I don't know whether or not we're gonna want amputees. Or if we're gonna want sustained life. The gravely ill will not be treated and will remain a burden. The gravely ill will take up beds and medical posts. Discontent will rise slightly. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Family torn apart. Sir, a woman came forward after we built the workshop. She said that her husband and daughter didn't reach the city with the main group, but she's sure they're still out there. She wants to join the first scout team we'll send out. She urges you to hurry. All right. So the game is telling us they really want us to get the um, get the scout scout teams up and going, up and going. All right, fair enough. Looks like we have one more day of um, extreme cold before we get another warm pocket. All right, Let's see what we can do. Steel wreckage has been depleted. All right, this wood wood piles might be short behind, uh, falling close behind. Yeah. All right, so in the, for the time being, I think we have everything we need. Um, we could do with heaters. Um, we could probably do with another medical tent, just um, you know, proactively. And yeah, we'll go ahead and build one more here. All right, perfect. Other than that. Looks like uh, we have everyone employed except for five people, so we're being pretty efficient with our um, workforce right now. And here's those last five people. We need five engineers. So where do we have engineers assigned that they we don't need them to be assigned at? We have 10 workers here, 10 workers here, 15 workers here, 10 workers here. Where are all of our engineers? Five. We have 15 total, so we have five, 10, 15. Okay, so we don't actually have enough engineers to stock this medical post. So I guess this is gonna go unused for now. So I guess it was a little bit of waste of resources to build it, but oh well. We really need to focus down this technology. I say we let discontent rise a little bit, and we call an emergency shift here, get some research going. Alright, let's do it. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Researchers, go back in there. We need to figure out how to heat this place before it's too late. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about the food situation. We've only get, gotten 16 raw food since we built this thing, and we're running out of food rations. Economy. Extraction efficiency. Workforce. Can we look at food? So this will give us 15 food a day. And a standard meal, regular meals, they nothing special but they're filling. Food consumption is 80 a day. So we need more than one hunting hunter's hut. Okay, that's good to know. So we're gonna go ahead and build more hunter's huts. Apparently one won't do the trick. We're gonna need to pull those workers from somewhere else though. Realistically, we'll probably take five out of here, five out of here, and five out of here. And just have our gathering post working at half half efficiency. Work time. Get moving. All right, it's work time.
We still have five, um, five workers as well. Okay. So we'll leave this gathering close working at full efficiency because this is the most important one. It's gathering coal for us. These ones are just gathering wood and steel. Alright, so we researched heaters. I think we ought to research seam hubs as well. Oh. Oh, there's different tabs. I don't think we need seam hubs straight away. Um, faster gathering might be decent, but um, not sure if we're going to need that. Hunter's gear. Uh, thanks to better snowshoes and enhanced camouflage, hunters setting out from the hunter's hut will return with more raw food from each hunt. Up to 20 raw food per hunt. I think that's going to be worth researching next. So, things we need to do. We need to turn on the heater. Start making some soup. Okay, so this gathering post, we will take five people off of, and this gathering post we will take five people off of. We'll go ahead and put all those 15 people to hunting, so food should not be a problem. I do not want our citizens starving. Alright, our researchers are working overtime to get us this new technology. It's exactly what we need. I wonder if we build more of these if we can research uh, more quickly. Probably. How are these stockpiles doing? There's 99 coal left. There's about 100 coal left in each of these. Um, this wood is doing okay. And if we start uh, hurting for coal, we have another stockpile right here, but that's it for coal. So we're going to have to start looking into coal production. Oh no, we have two more coals here. Okay. I think wood is what we're going to fall short at first. We have plenty of steel stockpiled, plenty of coal. It's wood. Wood, that's really the issue. So this cookhouse is more than making up, more than keeping up with the amount of food income we have. So we probably don't need it working at full capacity. We probably have like two out of five workers there or something. Put those workers elsewhere. They can be more useful. For example, I wonder if we build another workshop. Let's build another workshop. Put those engineers to work. I want to get technology um, going quickly because I also want to get that scouting thing so we can start scouting the area around, getting um, some more um, supplies, hopefully, from up there, maybe some more people. All right. We'll go ahead and end the day. And tomorrow, we're going to get a bump back up in heat, which is going to be real nice for us. Real nice. Hunter's gear researched. All right. That means we can unlock a new research. And I think it's going to be the beacon. So let's not be heating this workplace when we don't even have any, um, any food to cook. Um, our hope is in a bad situation right now. I don't know how to raise hope. I guess it's by signing policies that people like. What about child shelters? People will like that. We can build a child shelter. People. Base heating level 2. So this is a little more resilient to heat, so we can put it a little further away. This is going to be all our research, so we can put it next to the cookhouse, maybe. Alright, that's nice. Kids should do something useful in their time in the killed shelter. And what are they going to do all day? Watch the snowfall? Excuse me, people? I'm trying to look out for what's best for the kids. Putting kids to work is not good for them. I wonder if we're going to regret these decisions though. I do remember this game 
kind of turning me much more cynical. <laughs> you can't take all the good decisions. Sometimes you have to make bad decisions. The child shelter is ready for children uh, and the children are safe inside. People can work without worrying something will happen to their kids. Hope rises. All right, good. We've gotten hope back up. I'm happy with that. And we research beacon. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and end this here. Um, we've got a good start. We're putting all of our workers to work. We just unlocked Beacon, so hopefully we can start exploring uh, the outer world. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the series. Um, I'm really excited to play it. I'm just remembering how much fun this game was. I love a good old like city builder, colony management kind of game. Um, and this ticks all those boxes for me. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.